So something that I dearly missed when I was switching from the Roku stream bar to the Google TV with Chromecast was the feature called private listening. I live in a small apartment and I don't want to, I'm very conscious of my neighbors. I don't want to be watching a movie with loud explosions and kind of disturb them. And perhaps you share a living space with family members and you want to be watching your action movies without disturbing other family members. So private listening was a very nice feature that came with Roku stream bars and of course their casting devices. Now what's really odd with Google TV with Chromecast is that they don't advertise this private listening feature, but in fact, they do support it. And that's obviously used through Bluetooth headphones, which I think is a far superior option to Roku's private listening because it was susceptible to its own lag, especially if you're using the app. I think this is a very underrated feature, not advertised very openly by other YouTubers. So I wanted to show you on how to do this on your Chromecast TV. So let's get right into it. So pairing with your Bluetooth headphones is a really easy process. You just need to go to the settings Scroll down to remotes and accessories. Click pair with remote and it's going to start searching. Just make sure your Bluetooth device is in pairing mode. And then after that, it'll automatically connect. Now in the future, if you want to reconnect to your device, it should automatically connect. And that's it. That's all you have to do to enjoy private listening in, your, in the comfort of your own home without disturbing any of your friends and family. But wait, there's a problem. The thing with Bluetooth is that there's always inherently a lag and that's really unfortunate. I'm really upset that these manufacturers are really pushing down Bluetooth without fixing the latency issue. This is especially important if you're gonna be watching action movies where there's like shooting violence, punching and stuff like that and it just feels out of sync. Personally for me, the biggest pet peeve is when people are talking and it's out of sync. So that can be really annoying. But you might be wondering, is Roku's private listening feature any better than that of the Bluetooth feature on the Chromecast with Google TV? Well, I actually did a full review of the Roku stream bar and I covered that private listening feature in heavy detail. So if you wanna see that, I'll put a link in the description. But the conclusion I had was that Roku's latency was no better or worse than that of the Google TV with Chromecast. Now, I just want to be crystal clear. The lag is also dependent on the actual device you're using. If you're using a pair of headphones that add more Bluetooth lag, you'll obviously experience more lag. The main issue I had with Roku's private listening is that it required two levels of sending over the wire, which required more compression and added more latency. So from the actual hardware casting device, it had to send a signal over Wi-Fi to your phone. And then if you chose to use Bluetooth headphones on your phone, that's another added delay. With the Google TV with Chromecast, you have a direct connection from the hardware straight to your Bluetooth headphones. And I actually have a bonus tip, something that I wanna cover in a different topic, but one of the major features that Google TV affords you is the ability to load Kodi. And Kodi is an operating system in itself that can pretty much have a whole myriad of different video apps. You can watch all types of different uh, content. And of course, most importantly, you can stream your local content to your TV directly. And within the Kodi app, you can actually set the delay for the audio video sync. So if there's ever any Bluetooth lag that is you know, very perceptible. And like I said before, I don't think the lag is a big deal, especially for dialogue, it's totally tolerable. But if you did want to really enhance it, I found that reducing the latency by 200 milliseconds in the Kodi app, the media player, which is really easy to do, really provides for a perfect experience. Another thing I really want to emphasize with the Kodi app is that this is something that you definitely should explore, really look into, do a lot of research because I think this is one of the most powerful apps you can load on the Google TV with Chromecast. If you want to learn more about the Kodi app on the Google TV, let me know in the comments down below. Maybe I'll make a whole dedicated video about that subject. So I hope this video helped you extract the most value out of your Google TV with Chromecast. I personally was not aware that it supported Bluetooth and it wasn't very heavily advertised. So let me know in the comments down below. Was this a feature that you already knew about? Is this something that you've been doing in the past? Or is this something that you've newly discovered and perhaps you'll have a new way to enjoy your movies in the nighttime. Anyways, that's it for this quick video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If it helped you anyway, please do give a like. It really helps out the channel. And if you're interested in more tech related type of content, subscribe to my channel. See you in the next one.